Hey guys, it's Reviews and More, back with a quick review on the Wakako Mini Presso. So this is a handheld espresso maker, and as always, if you find this review helpful, please hit the like button, comment if you have any questions, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more stuff like this. So, um, this thing was about $35, I picked it up on eBay, and um, I'm glad it has free returns because I'm going to return it. So, right off the bat, you kind of know it's not a positive review. And I'm going to go in first to my reasoning behind it. It's one, it's simple to use. Although my issue is it's inherently messy because once you start cleaning it, it's going to require either a sink for rinsing or you're in a position where you would have to take a little bit of time to make sure it's cleaned out unless it's the kind of deal where you pack it and then you heat your water somewhere else. It's a very strange process. And I, and that's one of my issues I have with one is it doesn't clean as easy as it could. It's, um, and it's meant to be kind of a portable device. So you take it like traveling or something or maybe to work. Or um, if you're out and about. Uh, but the issue I'm running into is I don't know who this is for. I can't imagine a situation where... And I'll, I'll give you a heads up. It doesn't make a good espresso. I mean, that's just inherently, it's not going to be that high quality espresso. Um, it requires you to boil the water and then put it into the reservoir. You then pump it in and it will eventually filter through the coffee grounds, giving you a basic, basic espresso. The problem I see is the moment, like, espressos are characterized by very, very, very hot water being pushed through. And that's why machines are required, because it heats the water right there and keeps it hot. And that's what makes it a high-quality espresso, high-quality, along with, the, obviously, the water quality and the beans themselves and how finely they're ground. But here, the moment you take boiling water out of a microwave or off a, or off a uh, teapot, the moment you take it off, it starts cooling off. And so by the time you get this thing set up and put the water in there, it's going to have cooled to a degree... Additionally, the length of time it takes for the pumping to work, it says six pumps will do it on the box. That's a bunch of bull crap. It took no less than 20 or 30 before it actually started to actually feel like water was being pushed in. That might be a manufacturing flaw. Maybe I just got a bad one. Who knows? But again, that's my practical, the practical flaw with it is it just can be a little messy and it doesn't make that high quality of a drink by the end of it. Or certainly not, no better than what a, a hotel coffee maker would make or just some instant coffee that you could put into a bag if you really had to do it. <coughs> the secondary issue I have is simply, I don't, I don't know who this is for. I, I really can't figure it out. It makes no sense to me because you have to have either a microwave or some place to heat the water to boiling. And then you put it in this little device and it will let you pump out a, an espresso like cup of like one and a half ounces of espresso. So I just... I don't know where you would be in a position where you're like, I want an espresso, but I also have access to all these other accoutrements like electricity and ways to heat my water, but I really want the espresso it, versus just making a cup of coffee that's halfway decent versus this espresso, which is only going to be so good. And any situation that make I, I just can't figure out a situation where this makes any sense. It's a cool, it's a cool gadget. It's neat. It's definitely something that's like, ooh, it'd be in sharp rim. Like, look, a handheld espresso maker. Like, it's, just, it's it's interesting, but as far as its actual ability to get things done and have a real purpose, I just don't get it. I thought maybe it would, like, be a really fast deal. Like, I'd pump five times and boom, I'd have an espresso shot right there. Okay, that kind of makes a little bit of sense versus spending a ton of money on an espresso machine. Obviously, like, 35 bucks is better than $400, $500 for an actual espresso machine that's high quality. But I really just don't understand the the reasoning behind this particular item but as you're seeing here you're seeing me work through it uh the basic premise is you load up the coffee gr the coffee grounds in there and i'll freely admit the coffee grounds i use were not ground fine enough for espresso but at the same time it did look functionally the same and it did operate functionally the same the only difference is there might be more particulate matter in a finalized espresso espresso but um, the espresso, by the time it came out, because it took so long to pump, and you see me reading the instructions there, the instructions say six pumps, and you'll start seeing stuff come out. No, it was like 20, 30 pumps. It took a while. My hand was tired. But uh, it just, it, I, don't, I just don't know. It, it's not worth 35 bucks. I'll say that. It is just not worth $35. And that was probably sold at a discount to me through eBay. So um, I'm returning this, and I kind of thought I probably would be. I didn't have a whole lot of faith in this coming in. I was trying not to go in biased. I was hoping to be pleasantly surprised, and that just didn't happen. And on top of that, the um, item, once it's put back together, does not fit back together well. So like the little cup that you see the reservoir is about to be dipping into, when I tried to put that back on as if I was packing it back to go to go travel again, the cup 
once it goes off, it doesn't ever feel like it fits back on properly again. So that's just a quality control issue. But overall, I'm it's not really a disappointment because I didn't have really high hopes. But at the same time, I was kind of hoping to be pleasantly surprised, and I just wasn't. So um, this is a big no for me. And in a little while, I wanted this to be done in real time. You get to see me pumping on this thing over and over and over. And 20 or 30 pumps might have been an under-exaggeration, might have been more than that. But it took quite a while for it to work. And again, that just damages the quality, or not damages, it reduces the quality of the actual drink when it's all said and done because the water's cooling off. Every time I'm pumping this, the water's losing temperature, which means it's not going to get as much, as, it's not going to absorb as much of the grounds as it would have uh, if as, as it would if it were hotter so it's just losing quality as it goes so this is a 35 dollar way to make your hands sore and get a mediocre quality caffeinated beverage so overall this is a big no for me uh it's got a there's about another two minutes of me trying to get this thing to go and then the video is going to stop if you want to keep watching to see how long this stupid thing takes go for it i'm not happy about it but Oh well, you know how gimmicks work. Gimmicks are what they are. This thing is getting returned, and thanks for watching. I hope the review was helpful, and I hope that if you do try this item, I hope it works great for you. It just didn't do what it, I wanted it to do, and didn't do as it operated as advertised. So have a great day.